We're against Kassadin, which means it's a it's a, actually a pretty easy lane in my opinion. I just have to poke a lot and try to push him out of lane. He's running TP, I'm running heals, so in a 2v2 situation, everything before 6, I should win. We have a Zac, they have a Kai'Sa. I'm not really sure how strong Kai'Sa is early game, but I think we should win a 2v2. Um, their bot lane looks really dangerous, but ours is really pokey. So if they don't, if they, it, it's a skill matchup to be honest. Okay, so, yeah, I'm against Kessadin, so I have to just auto him as much as possible in lane. Um, I don't think I'm going to go Merc Treads this game. There's not much CC. It's really just Brand Stun. Um, yeah, so, it's just Brand Stun, so I'm not, not going to go Merc Treads. I'll probably go CDR Boots, because... Um, since I don't go Seraphs, I only get CDR from Lichbane and CDR Boots, but I honestly think 20% is enough. I don't think you need to be at max CDR, and especially when you don't have like a mana item like Seraphs, you only have your Hex Core, um, you don't need 45% CDR. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to try to poke him as much as I can in lane and push, so he has to CS under turret. And probably use his Q to CS. We'll see what happens. I want to be pushing a little bit though. I want it to be on his side, under his turret, if possible, almost. And I'm gonna rush my hex core and then Lich Bane, and then like Death Cap probably. I also have another theory that um, the Oblivion Orb rushing is really good, even though it just builds into Morellos, and that's not the best item to build all the time. Um. The actual Oblivion Orb itself is really good because, like I said earlier, the best, um, it's all about getting Baron in this patch. Whoever gets Baron pretty much wins and that makes you really strong in the mid game. So I'm just pushing. Um, I don't know where Zach or Zach is on my top side, so I'm gonna like lean towards that side and ch try to keep poking Cassidy, especially here. This is exactly where you need to poke him the most, just so he can't CS properly, and he has to use his Q just like that, just to CS. The jungler is a Kaisa, so I can't let her get behind me because that's where she needs to be. Cassidy's not gonna do much in a gank though, so as long as Zach's around, I can. Get help. Okay, so Kaisa just flashed on me. Um, that's really good. I have heal, so I can still fight Kassadin. And I have a potion. Or a biscuit, so it'll keep me like healthy. So Cassidy wants to recall right now and use his TP advantage. So that gives Zach an advantage. Oh, our bot lane just got a kill. But it looks like he, they're both gonna die. Ah, uh, maybe not. It'll be close. Nope, just one. So, both of our AD carries got a kill. Draven unfortunately survived, but... Um, Draven heal flash, so that means Zack can get kill him. So, J Zack is counter jungling right now. Oh, they both died again. Okay, so both pot lanes died. That mean but Draven got both kills, so it's slightly unfortunate for us. So I guess he's just helping me push out of this. Brand's here, so we're gonna lose this. I'm using my heal to get out. It's 
So that's a free kill. Kassadin can't do much because he's pre-6. Even Bran couldn't get do much because he's walking to butt. So as long as I push this and then get out, I can have... I can almost have my um, next upgrade of my hex core, which is imperative. So I'm actually going to stay one more wave just to get the hex core. I use my Q to proc Scorch in lane. It's really good for trading. So Shifter doesn't have any more health pots. He just got some life from leveling up, but that's the only way he gets life. I don't know where the top laner is, I'm kind of scared. So their Kai'Sa is down there, so I'm pretty comfortable. I don't think I'm going to get ganked by Alawi, because she's top. Alright, so I'm, I'm roaming down to help here. We'll be able to collapse on this. Okay, so I need to get out. Kassin's TPing. I'm just going to use my W to try to escape. And my Q. He flashed. So Kassin flash and TP. I shouldn't have roamed down to help right there because I had no mana, so I wasn't going to help anyway. That was X. I'm bad because Draven's way stronger than Caitlyn because he got two kills, so he has a BF sword. So he shouldn't be fighting. He doesn't have the pressure right now. He just needed to reset because we took that win in mid, and we could, we would have been way ahead. But now uh, we're not way ahead. Kassin's also six, so him not having flash isn't even that big of a deal. The good thing is I can I can push really hard on Cassidy. So Kais is invading right now. This is something that Zach just did, which is overextending after like a win. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down and help. Um, Cassidy has to stay mid, and he has, he bought a tier. So they pretty much just gave us a free Infernal Drake because they started it, and now we're just gonna finish it, and that's a really big win for us. Alright. So yeah, Kassadin isn't that strong right now because he built a tier. That means he's gonna scale. The only thing is he's like ahead in terms of levels because of that kill. And I didn't get a kill yet. So I'm gonna go back and I think I might actually build a Null Magic Mantle. Um, just to prevent myself from dying. I'm not sure though. Actually, maybe I'll just buy... No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I'm gonna buy the amplifying tome just to help me wave clear with my E, because it'll it'll give me that last little bit of AP to kill the the caster creeps. So I'm pinging that caster in his MIA. I think he's gonna walk top anyway. I think he's going top. I'm fairly certain. So I'm just gonna push the wave. He should he should be careful until I until Cassid appears again in mid. So I wait, I push the wave. He's gonna lose a wave if he if he's not mid very soon. I'm gonna go get this blue buff and keep pinging that Cassid is missing. All right, see he was top. So that my pings are good. That's really good for me. A blue buff. So I have both summoners, so I'm pretty safe from Kassadin right now. I'm just going to try to keep poking him. He just used his ult um, to wave clear, so this is the perfect time to poke. Because he can't go all in. So I'm using my ult to poke here. Because it's not, honestly, like it's not that big of a deal to use it. Because it's not going to really be good on anyone else. He's trying to gank this, but he really shouldn't. I'm just letting him know. I don't think I don't I don't think it'll happen. It's Cassadin. Oh, never mind. Cassadin made a really bad mistake. He just like eat into it to um, to poke, but Zach was ready.
Um, the thing about using Victor Alt is you need to be very, uh, like, honestly, I think you need to, like, be very, just use it whenever you can, because, like, especially on champions who can't escape it, you want, you want, you want it to be able to get three hits on. I don't know why this Ka Ka Kaisa is walking up like this. Wow, he actually got that kill. So Kaisa flashed. I guess he had Blood Razor, so he's really confident. Botlane killed themselves again, like... It seems like they both kill each other at the same time every time. <laughs> so I have to be really careful, because Kaisa's around here. And Kastin can all in me really easily. Let's see. There's Kaisa. She's trying to um, steal the race. I'm gonna go poke her. So she's gonna maybe die to Lulu and Zack, or she's gonna have to run for her. Yeah, she's, she was greedy for the race, so she might die actually. So that's, that's that right there is an example of why you don't greed. I, he got my flash, but he died for it. The early Inferno is gonna keep us in the game for a long time. I'm gonna keep pinging the cast is missing. He might dive top, but Nasus has ult, so I don't think he should if he goes. I'm just gonna keep pinging it. He didn't walk through here, so he's probably not going by. He's probably going top, if anything. So Kassadin built Merc Treads, which is good, honestly, in the versus Zack and me, but he's just tanky. He's not going to kill anyone. Kassadin did come from top, so he was going to gank there. But yeah, he has tier and Merc Treads. I honestly think it's just not enough damage, but we'll see. I have my um, upgraded Q, so it's really good. Um to get early game, because Victor lacks mobility. He has to poke like that because, oh, there's Kaisa. So Kaisa's in mid. He's trying to land that to, to uh, travel. It's good for, it's good, like, it's a good item, but like, it's not gonna, build, it doesn't do, do damage, you know? And he needs, he has tier and mercs. So, what's he, he's not going to be able to kill me. So I see Kaisa bot, that means Kassadin is not going to be aggressive, so I'm going to do as much poke as I can. Like, I can walk up, and it's okay. Um, I guess... So they died at bot, but... Nasus got a, a solo kill on an Alawi, which is huge. Nasus getting big is amazing. Because Draven is the one who's getting fed, so Nasus having Wither for him is just going to ruin him. Oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have shouldn't have went for that. Their bot lane was around. Ah. So this, uh, we just don't have very much control of the bot lane because, um, I don't know, they're just ahead. So I should not have gone for that. The Kai'Sa is like pure damage, so it shouldn't be that bad to be able to kill their late game. But that was a mistake on my part. We should play around our top lane because he's so much stronger now. And he's stacking his Q like a maniac. He almost has 300 stacks. It's 13 minutes. He's just free stacking that. So I'm gonna go get the blue buff on the way top. My E does about three or four hundred, so I can just take it like that. I want to use my E and just push the wave, because the one thing advantage I have right now is I can push the wave really fast over Cassidy. Cassidy is bot. That means if I go top, where we have a really big advantage here. Oh, there's like, yeah, there's three there. There was one person on Dragon, and then Draven's not even there. So I'm gonna keep pushing. I have to go bot to catch this wave. The only thing I'm scared of is Kaisa being coming to intercept me, because he was just at Dragon. So I'm gonna go the really long way around. Just E this push, maybe. Okay. So, 
I'm going to have to probably be in the side lane just catching the experience in gold. Because our bot lane is... Um, it's more dangerous for them. Because I can 1v1 people, but they can't. They have to be together. I'm just going to check in here. Uh, so Nasus is going back top. He should have gone top when he saw me going bot. It was just a waste of time, but it's okay. Level 11. I'm the same level as Caspian right now. I don't want to finish those Krugs because in... I don't know where Kassadin or Kaisa is. I don't have Flash either. This is actually greedy. Okay, so... Actually, our Caitlyn should be top because Nasus can't wave clear in mid and that's where they want the turret. They, they want to put their bot lane against our Nasus. That's their ideal right now. So Nasus is going in, but we don't have our Zac nearby yet. But they, I guess they don't have their jungle yet. Nice, nice. The Lulu wall is perfect. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I'm gonna keep pinging that, so they know. So this guy has no mana. If you, oh, I'm gonna flash on. Okay. So, they didn't have Lowey, that's why they lost that so hard. And that means we're, we're probably going to lose top, but we're probably also going to get mid. It was a four, 3 for 4. And they do they use a lot of flashes. So that'll be really big for me. Because my ults, it's really weak against flashes, but if they can't get away from it, it does a lot of damage. So I'm going to kill this pink. And the next dragon is Infernal, so we have to be really prepared for that. Infernal drakes are extremely important. I'm just gonna clear any pinks that I can find. Nope, nope, he should not be fighting there because he just needs to get out of here. If he gets out, he's okay. We're good. So, allow me just flash. I'm gonna ping that. So, now that's really good for in the future. They're probably gonna get Rift Herald right here. Um, we can't really contest it because everyone's there. There's Brand. We don't have our Caitlyn. See, Caitlyn's bot. Oh, Kassin's also bot. Kassin might not be able to do that. Oh, he could. Hmm. If Caitlyn flashed that RR, he could have killed him. Because that's the only damage that Kassin had right there. If he didn't flash the R, he would have died. So, this is a 3v4 in, in, or 3v1 in mid, and he has Rift Herald, so I'm kind of scared. The Rift Herald just leads the um, actual turret, too. So, we just have to be prepared for this Infernal Drake. It's spawning pretty soon. I really want to get this- Oh, there's Kaisa, like, cheesing in our jungle. So this guy's just dying for free. There's no way out for him. Alright, I'm just ulting him. My ult's not that long of a cooldown, and I want to get the kill so I can get Lich Bane. I'm gonna push this wave in mid, and then instantly recall and prepare for this, um, dragon. Because I'll have Lich Bane. Recall right here. I have heal in case something happens. Cast it in his bot, so I'm okay. So I'm going bot. I have my Lich Bane. I can fight Cassidin. Cassidin is getting pretty strong because he got the Archangel staff. Um, so we have to be careful of that. But our, our Nasus is absolutely massive. Whoever he withers is going to basically hate their life. <laughs> So I'm going to go up here in pink so that Kassadin can't roam freely. And I also want to ward that bush because that's where Kassadin's going to come from, if ever. So in a fight, I do a lot of sustained damage with Lich Bane. And I have a lot of mana. I have to be careful of Kassadin coming from right there. Kassadin's going to look to try to invade and use his power. Infernal's in 50 seconds, so we have, to, we have to play around that. Still the crab, which is really huge. I want to get the blue, but I'm in the side lane. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get... I'm going blue. 
then drag. Because this is 10% CDR for me, which is really huge and infinite mana, basically. We need a, a Nessus STP so he can be bought. So I'm level 13, which means... Oh, it's not max rank Q? Okay. Um, never mind. Oh, I put it second rank in W. I don't even remember when. Oops. It should be max rank Q. But it's okay. I'm going to push the wave because I have the wave clear advantage over Cassidy, which means um, that, um, Cassidy basically has to go mid. Or Draven or someone. Or they're going to lose a wave. Don't start it. Don't start it. Okay, we have the advantage here. Kassen's not even here because he's wave clearing. And we got it. That's huge. We can just turn on Talawi. See, he's way out of position. He should not be there. So we got an Infernal and we got the Dragon. Now we can bait the Baron. Um, yeah, Kassen's wave clear is really bad, so we could catch someone here. Oh, that's huge. Flash wither? Okay, Baron flashed. So we got a flash just because they had to be, they had to be there. Kassen's waiting in that wish. I knew I, I just thought he might be there. So Kassen's wave clear is really bad. Their entire wave clear is really bad. So we can push without Baron, basically. That's what that means. We also have Caitlyn, which is amazing, amazing for sieges. No, no, no. We should take our, we should take our, take our win. We got an infernal and we got the tower. We should just reset. Reset is just basically make sure, use all the gold that we just bought or got and buy. Okay, so that was a really good catch. Did, did he flash? I think he might have flashed. So Draven's right here. Um, so we're going to bait the Baron because Allowi's bot. That means we, we're going to force her to TP. I'm killing this pink. And that way Baron can't come. He has no flash, remember. So he might die to my ult right here. Oh, Draven, the Infinity Edge crit. I pretty much forced Brand out of the fight, and Draven just killed me. I should have been more wary of how much damage he could do. And I might have been able to flash it. So he's probably dead to Nasus here. This is pretty much no escape for Draven. Um, that means we can probably do the Baron. Oh, never mind. So there's only Kai'Sa alive. That's that's oh they, she could steal it. We should probably be recall. Oh, they, maybe they're not expecting it because Kai'Sa's mid. Okay, never mind. They're expecting it. So we have two Infernals. So that's a huge advantage on them. We basically just need to um, stick together. I should have probably been with the team. I just underestimated Draven. This guy's dying for free, which means we can pressure Baron again. He really should be focusing, focused more on staying alive. That allowing. So Draven is all their damage. See how Shifter went like defense or defensive item and Merc Treads, which is another defensive item. So going that many defensive items makes you kind of weak. So I'm killing this pink, and they're gonna be really scared to check this. So we're just going to DPS this now. We have two Infernals. It should die really fast. And then now their wave clear is bad enough that we can just use Baron and push. I, I want this wave so I can get an Easter Edge Rod. Then I'm going to recall. Draven's pushing it up really quick. Blue's up in a minute. That's not enough time. So we're just going to use our Baron and push. I'm going for Deathcap. Um, they don't have that much magic resist, they only have the Merc Treads and that's it. This brand has a lot of, lot of damage, so I'm just painting that so everyone knows. Oblivion Orb is a really, really strong item, so like, technically I could have bought the Oblivion Orb and it would have been stronger if I didn't think I was going to complete the Death Cap. But, it's different depending on the game. Okay, so I guess we're pushing bot. We have to be careful, we have to stay um, careful Nasus because we don't know where they are yet. 
they could all just be collapsing right now. We don't want to, don't want them to push, or don't want them to kill Nasus before we have anything to push with. So we know Lowey's at least top. Okay, there's two top. Go for the, We're gonna go for the inhibitor of blood. The two rods build in death cap. So Nessus died, but he killed one, and we got the inhibitor at bot. So we're just going to take our win and recall. I usually put a word there just so I can see them exiting the base, because we don't have anything there. I can afford death cap now, I'm going to go for it. Oh. So he overestimated his damage because he has to... No, I'm, I'm recalling. I'm going to ping my health just to show him that I'm recalling. So I have death cap, and I'm gonna buy an another amplifying tome here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy a null magic mantle. That'll pretty much nullify Brand's damage on me, and I'll probably go for Banshees because it'll help me versus Brand and Cassidy, and it'll give me some more CDR later. So if we push, Cassidy's down. We just have to be careful because oh, Nasus is teleporting, so we can do this. So that's a, that turret's gonna die really fast to Nasus. So this Draven's really out of position if we collapse on him, if he goes back in again. So he has to go all the way around, because if I if he goes back through that way, I could W him, and he couldn't get out. So see how out of position this Draven is? He's just like catching the wave, but we already have minions, so it doesn't really matter. And pushing with uh, Lich Bane is really strong. And there he goes. His defensive items didn't help him in the end. GG. Click like if you liked the video, subscribe for more of me and my beautiful voice, and if you liked it or didn't like it, leave a comment so I can take your feedback into consideration. Thanks.